Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial we're gonna talk about, uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, data persistence in Android and on the second part of the tutorial I'm gonna show you how to put an icon on your application. So we've got here a blank project, I've only put uh, in it uh, a second class and also created a, a layout so let me show you so we've got our main layout here it's just two buttons a close button uh, a go to settings button and uh, a text view so simple as that and in uh, our settings activity we, we've just got a radio group here uh, is a radio group, just drag and drop it with uh, three radio buttons named radio zero, zero, 1 and 2 ok so we've got our main class uh, here uh, the button settings has uh, just an intent that goes to the settings class and uh, the image button close just finish so very very simple so let's get started so uh, what we want we want to memorize the user options so next time uh, he uh, starts our application first of all declare some constants here so uh, settings okay so here is a usually put uh, the app name settings for example and another one uh, shares uh, preferences so prep okay and uh, here in uh, this class we ha first have to declare each radio button so I should have done this uh, before ok let's copy paste this and And uh, we we'll make sure that uh, the settings are saved. When uh, le actually, let's uh, drag in a button. So let's make it ten degree. ID. And before we call the finish, we've got to save the settings. So uh, we we write like this: press get get share preferences, and uh, it has two parameters. First one is uh, the settings name, share preferences name. So we put setting start and uh, we put the default mode uh, which is zero if we look down here uh, use zero for mode pri private is default operation ok now we have the uh, shared preferences in a in a variable we must uh, also declare an editor for it so 
editor, editor, edit, and uh, we put like this. Put. Let's put uh, a boolean value, but of course, if you have, uh, for example, a text, uh, a text box. You can use a string or whatever value you want to memorize. So the key is and the value. We're gonna uh, make something like this. Is checked. We have to make this final. and just copy paste this and always remember that an editor needs commit at the end looks pretty pretty easy okay and how we retrieve this uh, settings so let's write our code in the main so just copy paste this first and then uh, you also have to get this you don't need uh, an editor and uh, let's make some variables Get. and we, we have to write here a default value in case uh, the application is uh, started for the first time so let's actually let's modify this so this is checked this is not checked Okay, and uh, actually we can output to, to the log file uh, to see if this works. Let's test it. We'll use uh, directly uh, 4.0 emulator. So let me drag in this. Okay, so first of all, uh, settings are uh, using the default value as you can see it's false true false and now uh, let's choose a small size save okay and uh, as you can see settings are now changed and if we we quit the application and start it again true false false settings are recorded and uh, let's fi also fix the settings so one small fix here call this over here 
and uh, do like this. And now uh, it should also update uh, this settings page. Okay, so true force force true force force okay let's select large let's close the application okay let's start it again and if we go to, to our settings you also see large is selected so that's it for share settings on uh, on these settings you can save as much as you want because uh, they are remembered for example if your application is put to be on uh, external uh, for external card install here you put it let me show you so install location just select prefer external share settings are, are saved there so you can uh, you can save quite a large amount of settings and uh, let's uh, go to our second part of the application and uh, let me show you how you, you change this icon here so uh, if uh, we go to if we go to the dev guide at icon design guidelines so here at under best practices and uh, we're interested in this uh, this icon there's a pretty good article here with do and don'ts so you should uh, you should read it and uh, if you want you can take your time and uh, do a different icon for each uh, each screen density but um, We'll go by uh, an icon by 50, 50 multiplied by 50. So uh, there are hundreds of uh, free icons websites. Just pick one or uh, use Google Images. So let's pick a cool eye. Hmm, this one is cool. So let's. Uh, I'll just uh, save this and uh, let's just rename it launcher so this is the name uh, you you must give it and uh, let's copy paste it here in all of this job and uh, now when we we reinstall our application on the emulator we should see that the icon has changed so there you go we have a new icon on our application simple as that i hope you enjoyed and until next time have fun coding